Are you concerned about sinkage? Do you worry that you'll take on water while you're underway? Then your Titanic may be suffering from missing rivets. Have I got solutions for you. This is Ben and Nora. Welcome back to Midwest Model Shop. So before we get going here, we're excited to announce that we've received our first passenger. And you cannot believe all the luggage. Yes, there's a lot of luggage. Probably first class passenger, maybe yeah. the crane. Without a doubt. I don't know, something like that to get all this stuff on board. So if you didn't see in our very first video, if you have a figure, an extra figure that would go on the Titanic that you'd like to paint and send and be featured on this build, you can. Just send us an email at the Midwest Model Shop at gmail.com. We'll give you a shipping address and uh, paint up your figure, send it over here, and we'll show it off just like this one. This figure came from Tim Coburn of Nottingham in the UK and he describes her as an Edwardian lady and says that he thinks she looks like the queen and so do we. I'm really, really excited that we received our first passenger. Yep, he describes her as being a little bit dapper and I agree. Tim, I think you did an outstanding job on this figure. I wouldn't have bothered with the little feet detail, the shoes and everything, and you did a great job. Uh, that stuff is just something that drives me crazy and I, I do, I think you did a great job. So anyway, we've got um, several more coming in the mail already. We've had a whole bunch of people reach out to us. It's been a really good response to this. So uh, when they come, we'll be featuring them too, and we'll be putting them on the ship. Uh, yeah, that takes care of that. Without further ado, let's get on to this rivet detail section. All right, everybody. So what we have here is the hall to our commission build that we're doing, not the kit you've seen us work on so far. We were really fortunate with the first kit that we got. All the rivet detail was pretty much on the kit and everything was great. I got this kit, opened it up, and discovered that a lot of the rivet detail is missing. Now, I found out through the grapevine, excuse me, through the grapevine that this is very common and we were just super fortunate to have a kit that didn't have any issues. So, uh, you're left with a couple of options. One, just leave it the way that it is and live with it and, and that's fine. Two, and I'm not going to talk a whole lot about this, but there was a photo etch kit available that you could slap on the side here that corrected a lot of things and replaced all the rivets. Uh, those are not available anymore, unfortunately. So then your third option really is just to make them yourself. Now, I love the Titanic community. You guys are super helpful. And uh, one of my contacts, Commodore Urban, I presented the problem to him and he goes, his initial solution, he thought on it for a day, he goes, well, I would just take something then and I would poke um, the plastic back out from the inside. And I thought, no, that's not going to work because this plastic's like three millimeters thick and there's thousands of them that aren't, uh, that I have to do. If you just had a handful, that would be the one thing. But I slept on it for a little bit and uh, it turns out uh, Commodore Urban may, ha, might have been correct. I think there's a way we can work through that. So we're going to show you a couple options here and what we're going to do to fix the missing rivets on this kit. And this is stuff that you can do uh, and try out yourself if you want to. So I think, uh, yeah, Nora's going to show you how to do it. Okay, so you have to start out with this particular styrene in this particular size. Um, this one is 0 0.005 inches or 0.13 millimeters thick. Anything thicker than this will not work. So you've got to make sure that you purchase this size. So what Ben did was he cut out uh, a little panel, to, you know, like one of the plates on the ship, and we started doing these little grids. So you want to draw on the back. Your pencil has to be super duper sharp. And you want to draw your grids on the back to give you a grid pattern for your little rivets that you're going to poke into the styrene, like so. Did you know there were over 3 million iron and steel rivets on the Titanic, weighing in at over 1,200 tons? Good thing we're only making a few hundred. Okay, so now um, this is just a stylus that Ben had. This is like a really hard metal tip. It's very pointy, very sharp. and you're going to want to take it and use the little grids that you made in very sharp pencil pencil to start just making little dents in the back of the styrene with your stylus. You got to do it straight up and down. So 
I'm gonna go ahead and flip that over just so you can go ahead and see. <gasps> These look so as you can see, the four little rivets that I poked in through the back on my little grid lines are popped out on this side now. Okay, so after you've finished poking all of the little holes in the, in the back of your plate, you want to purchase this really thin CA glue. And you want to take just a little dab of it, and I'll use this because it's close by. You want to take a teeny tiny dab of it and just a drop on the back where you poke the holes, I'll do this lefty, and just spread it around. So if this whole panel was full of holes, this would be more than enough glue to do this and then you're just going to let it harden and that is going to fill in all the little rivets you made so that they do not get pushed in from the other side when you're handling the ship. Okay, so here's just a little example of a piece that we were working on earlier. Um, ben was just kind of working with poking out the little rivets and painting it black. The rivet pattern obviously is not perfect, you know, or in line at all, um, but just experiments, experimenting with the process itself to see how it would turn out and how it would look once it's painted and you have sort of a finished product. And that's how you do it. So just a little side by side of the um, plates that Ben did, the plate that Ben did and the plate that I just did on camera, I used a ton of pressure like a crazy person. And you can see that my rivets are a little more pronounced. So really depending on the type of tool that you use and how much pressure, pressure you use, um, you'll achieve the look that you want um, you know, just with all those different variations of things that are available to you and however you want to make it look. Okay, so what if you don't have that fancy uh, stool? Stall that I um, right well, we came up with a couple of other ideas. Um, there's a nail head. Uh, that was one idea. And then while we were sitting over lunch, I grabbed a bunch of toothpicks and bunched them all up and thought that would be a fantastic idea. However, the toothpicks proved to not be hardened enough. I've used some that are like petrified wood that I think would be great. Ours were not hard enough to achieve what we wanted to do. So Ben took these nails and he cut off the little nail heads and he taped them all together. The only thing is, is they, you got to work a little bit to get the, you know, varying heights the same and the size of the heads, the little nail heads are not all exactly the same. You may have to take, you know, a little bit of a, a file or something to even them out and make them nice and level. And if you can fashion a tool like this, which I think is a really great idea, you can take that to the back of your styrene. Do I want to use that one? Doesn't matter. Okay, so you can take a tool like that to the back of your styrene, apply that pressure, and bam, get all of your rivets all at once. What? So, like, just a few of our viewers are male. What if they don't have nails like yours? I don't know what to tell you. All right, it's been a quick minute here. And so now you've seen how to go ahead and make those little plates that can go on the Titanic. Uh, you got to make a lot of them, though. And that can be very frustrating because if the rivet detail is not perfect, you're going to lose your mind. So what I did is I went ahead and I made a mold. Um, well, this is a master, and then I made a mold. This is one of them, you can't really see it here, but it's just a, a silicon deal and in there, I think you can make it out, there's the shape. And then I poured a bunch of these things. Uh, this is the second set. We're over here, I've got a bunch uh, primed up and ready to go. This is difficult to do. Uh, you're working with really small stuff, but what we're gonna do next here is we'll take, uh, maybe right in here, right in here, one of these that's really missing all of its rivet plates, the rivets, and We'll clean it off, we'll sand it down a little bit, uh, we'll pick out a good one, and we'll get the um, piece stuck back on there. So that, that's that's kind of one of the options here. All right, folks, so what I wanna try and do is wrap up this segment, because the whole point of this video is to help present you with, what well, is to present you with options for the rivets, uh, if you have a kit where you'd like to try and fix them. If I spend all the time getting this kit set up to the point where I can show you it painted and this is the end result, like it'll be two weeks before a video comes out and I'm not really interested in trying to do that. So I went ahead and installed uh, several of those panels uh, that I made or the plates that I made and then also you could see there's some little black dot rivet details there. So what I also purchased are these HO scale rivet decals and it's just like what you see there uh, they are two scale um, 
little dots and, and they're rays that are decals. You put them on and you've got a bump. So here's the thing I'm going to say about them. They are two scale for the Titanic and I would argue that they are correct. However, once you paint them, they do almost disappear. And the reason for that is they're to scale with the Titanic and they're correct. You, in real life, you wouldn't see the rivets until you got up really, really close to them. Uh, the rivets that are on this kit, you know, they're probably about the size of this cup sticking out if they were in real life. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're more like the size of this cap. So that's what you get with these decals. So what I'm actually doing is taking the time to double them up. I put the first decal on, let it set, and then I'm putting a second one on to get a bigger raised bump. And hopefully that will give me the desired result. So anyway, I think that's it. Uh, I think we're going to wrap up the video here. Like I said before at the beginning, if you're upset that your model doesn't have good rivets along these edges here and you want something there and you didn't have the opportunity to buy photo etch, you can do some good old fashioned modeling yourself and uh, put some detail back in there. I, and I, I think that this will turn out great because the next section that goes above the ship uh, and all, um, on both of my kits, and hopefully yours, the rivet detail is there, it's not gone. So you're just really trying to fill in this one little section. So anyway, I hope that helped, and I hope you enjoyed this shorter video. And thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. So should I hold it here? Should I hold it up? What do you want me to right, do? Right there. What was it? Say it Take 10. Okay. Models and mimosas, take 10. You know you're falling out of budget when you get it. Um, so this is a segment that I like to call models and mimosas. I'm just going to keep making up segments and throwing them out there and see what sticks until I just take over the entire Midwest model shop and everybody's like, Ben. Okay, let's roll. Uh, this segment is for those of us who were not born with uh, the steadiness in this. No, this, seg <laughs> <laughs> this segment is for those of us who were not born with the steady hands of a neurosurgeon and need a little help slowing things down and getting into the final part. <laughs> <laughs> Can't do what works.